Today we're going to do a handwriting match fit assessment with our children. We've logged onto our Start B streaming platform where we can access the assessment. There is a version available for children at the end of uh, early years, the end of Key Stage 1 and the end of Key Stage 2. We're going to be using the early years version today. Our children have been doing Start B since September. They've worked through the patterns, the lowercase letters and the uppercase letters. What we're going to need today is our big pencils with the uh, yellow guiding line to ensure that we can see the children's pencil grip. We're going to need a camera because we take a photograph of each child's pencil grip. We're going to need the large post-it notes where we've written the children's names clearly, just their first names, so that when we take the photograph of their pencil grip, we can match it to their assessment booklet. And we're going to need our match fit assessment booklets. Hello, my name is Hannah Jane. We're going to do the Start to Be Handwriting Match Fit Assessment. We've been running Start Be at Down Hall for the past five terms now and it's had a really positive impact. But that wouldn't have been possible if it hadn't have been for the sponsorship that we received from BIC. Um, and not only is it the sponsorship, but it's also the expertise that has come from Melanie Harwood that has made this programme so successful within our school. Today we have actually used a match fit assessment with our early years children who actually started using Start Be back in September and we've seen the most amazing results today. We're absolutely thrilled. Before we started using the Start B handwriting programme, we didn't really have a strategy. We had a policy for the implementation of handwriting lessons across the course of the year, but nothing quite so structured as we have in place now with Start B. So by using the match fit assessment, we're able to assess each child individually, not just for where they are in terms of handwriting, but also their pencil grip, whether they've got hypermobility, um, whether, there's, whether they're left-handed or right-handed, and then we can use all of that information holistically to actually provide a very bespoke programme for children as they move through the school. Obviously the match fit assessments generate quite a lot of hard data and what I have done is I've used our current tracking system for assessment in school and have created some custom columns within that program which is very similar to an Excel spreadsheet and actually put all the data into those custom columns and then I'm able to use um, some filters on the program to look at whether certain groups of children are making the appropriate amount of progress, whether um, other groups of children need to have an SEN provision provided for them, and we're able to track very, very closely year on year how those children are progressing because we now have that data on our system. Head teachers and SLTs are always obsessive about data and we are no different to any other school in the country. How we have used our Start B data is, for um, example, one teacher said a couple of weeks ago, was very concerned about a child's progress in handwriting, didn't think they were making as much progress as the rest of the children, mentioned it to the inclusion manager who went on to the Start B custom columns, found out that the child had hypermobility and this had been assessed in one of the match fit assessments, was able to inform the teacher who was then able to provide the child with the correct writing implement to try and support the handwriting. Following our match fit assessment today, we have been able to identify a very specific group of children who are going to need to work on a particular programme. So they will still be working alongside their peers in the classroom following the next steps from their early years Start B programme, but they will also be having additional interventions which will be happening a couple of times a week outside of the classroom, their own distinct group with their own distinct programme to, in order to address their specific needs. Start B has enabled us to be much more focused on assessing um, handwriting and also assessing next steps of learning for those children. You know, the national curriculum states that children need to be fluent in their handwriting style at the end of Key Stage 2 and actually this is able to help us track through from Key Stage 1 to Key Stage 2 to ensure that they continue to make progress to meet that goal. The data as shown from the match fit assessment shows that the children in our early years are uh, performing extremely well and some of them are exceeding what the expectation is at the end of early years foundation stage profile. Um, we have seen a vast improvement in the confidence of some of our children to actually write and a prime example of that is we had two young girls last week who um, sat and wrote and wrote and wrote very confidently using um, common spelling patterns, using correct letter formation and it was lovely to see that all the hard work that's been 
put into creating confidence in writing using the Start B programme has actually then filtered into other elements of the curriculum.